maintain the confidence and preserve inviolate the secrets of my client. I will maintain the confidence and preserve inviolate the secrets of my client. Mitch, the letter you got from Bendini, Lambert, and Locke was the only one sent out. We want you. Do you have a, an offer in mind? It includes a bonus schedule, and we'd lease you a new Mercedes. Plus a low-interest mortgage. As in home? With grass around? And a two-car garage. These are nice people, Abby. OK, I'm more impressed with it than you are. You grew up with it. Did you ever think I'd make a six-figure salary? Absolutely. Since we deal primarily in tax and securities, our clients are very wealthy. We keep each other's secrets. I don't want anyone with family money. I'm not sure I follow. They want you lean and hungry. If all your money comes from one source, then you tend to be very loyal to that source. Marty Kaczynski and Joe Hodges were killed. There was some kind of explosion on the boat. Kay was scared. Did you know the men who died? Yes. You must be overwhelmed with grief. People grieve in different ways, Miss McDear. You think I'm talking about breaking the law? No, I'm just trying to figure out how far you want it bent. As far as you can without breaking it. That room looks like a health hazard. That's four dead lawyers. None of them over the age of 45. Where are you guys? The FBI wouldn't have come after you if they didn't think they'd get to you. Now, what do you think made them think that? I have no idea. Well, they might know how important your young wife is to you. Anything's possible. I'll tell you one thing. If those guys at the stake joint were feds, you better watch out for them. We might be misreading McDear. You've got nothing to be suspicious about. I get paid to be suspicious when I got nothing to be suspicious about. Why are you asking questions about dead lawyers? What dead lawyers? I know you'll do your best to protect the firm. Won't you, Mitch? We have faith that you're going to be with us for a long, long time, Mitch. Fact is, nobody has ever left us. Nobody.